Chris will get mad. Bringing Jesus on stage. Confederate flag tour merchandise. Does Mr. West need to stop? Okay. If you have not seen this, Kanye West is on tour. He did his first date in Seattle. And apparently, at the end of the show, Kanye brought out a Jesus character. Now, this is from an account from Rolling Stone. Okay? The previously mentioned group of women clad in white made intermittent reappearances on stage, most of the time wearing sheer body shirts that left nothing to the imagination. Woo! At one point, the stage mountain cracked open and they poured out two by two in a cloud of thick white smoke carrying various religious iconography. The Virgin Mary, a swinging thurible spewing incense, and a crucifix with Wes belting out the song I wonder behind him. The Kappa ultimately was the guest appearance by none other than Jesus Christ himself for whom West finally removed his mask to proclaim that he had been looking for. Jesus naturally responded that he had been there all along. Later, the mock Christ would ascend to the top of the mountain as West bowed in supplication before him while the haunting refrain of on sight, you give us what we need, it may not be what we want, played repeatedly in the background. Now, look, ladies and gentlemen, all right? I am not religious. I am not Christian. I don't really have a great idea of truly what is and is not fair game. And while I am entitled to, you know, like, I'll let you do what you do on that. Like, by and large, that's my thing. I'll let you do what you do. I do find it very interesting that people often have difficulty grasping the fact that the only reason they don't find the set of beliefs within their own religions to be uh, uh, religions to be utterly preposterous is the fact that it is their own. But hey, this is not my world. I am not in it, and I'm not judging. I'm just telling you that I got a certain level of separation from this. Okay. Now, with that preface being offered. I generally really, 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 really get worried when people start throwing out bizarre religious imagery in their stuff. Like, that's a half step away from losing your goddamn mind. And I think all of you know one person who went super heavy on the religious imagery shortly before losing their goddamn mind. I think we all do. And I think that when you go and you walk outside, wherever you happen to be, and you see the people who don't have homes, right? People that's huddled up just looking for some place to stay. Yeah, a lot of them just kind of fell on some hard times and missed a couple of checks. A lot of them are mentally ill, right? And what do a lot of them be out there on the streets talking about? That's right. They hit you with that crazy religious imagery. All right? So I'm not saying if you believe in Jesus that you want some crazy religious imagery or anything close to that. I'm not saying that. What I'm saying is when people start using the crazy stuff, it's entirely possible that that person might in fact be crazy. And if you do not believe me, I'd suggest that you go through and listen to the miseducation of Lauren Hill and start hearing all your various references to Abraham and Jezebel and all kinds of stuff like that. And then also listen to those songs where it's abundantly clear that she's losing what? Her goddamn mind. All right. And I'm leaning toward Kanye losing his mind. Because, see, my man Carl here says, that Kanye's doing this for shock. I don't think so. I don't. See, I think Kanye's in an odd place where Kanye thinks he's a little bit smarter than he actually is. Like, he's a musical genius, but he's not like a genius genius. You know? Like, yeah, Kanye decided to leave college because um, 
you know, he wanted to make music. That don't mean he had a 3-5 when he walked out the door. You understand what I'm saying here? Like, I'm not saying he's stupid. I'm just saying he's not quite as smart as he thinks he is. Right? So I'm looking at all this stuff that I'm reading about, like the Confederate flag stuff that they're selling, this Jesus thing, and it sounds like at least he tried to do something somewhat interesting with it. But, like, if you're going to break out the white Jesus, man, you got to hear hard. You can't just be, you, you, you know, you, you can't just be kind of making a point. Like, you got to bring the hammer on this, bro. And I think when he came up with that, he's like, yo, ain't nobody trying nothing like this. Yo, man, I'm being creative, dog. Ain't nobody trying nothing like this. And everybody's sitting there like, man, what the hell are you talking about, bro? Because the one thing about Kanye's genius is that it's an accessible genius. Like, he does a type, he does music that allows so many people to get close to love or hate. Right? But I think it's very important that we start, like, hey, man, I talked to somebody very big in the music game, and we were talking about this, and we talked about when Yeezus came out, we thought that he was kind of losing the grip. I think he's losing the grip because I don't know how much those tickets cost. Like, he's playing this show in Miami right around Thanksgiving, and I want to go to the show in Miami right around Thanksgiving. Problem is, man, I ain't paying all that money to watch him play all them songs off no fucking Yeezus. Yeezus is, I don't, I don't, I don't want to hear that. And he's like such a great performer, but I don't. I don't, I'm not paying money to hear Yeezus.